Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man and the Ants. We are back in Airport CEO. What are you doing? Are you taking off? I don't have ever seen a, a, a medium-sized plane take off before. Yeah, off you go. See ya. Thanks for stopping by. So what did we do last time? Last time we sorted out some stuff. What did we do last time? I actually have very little idea. I'm just completely drawing a blank right now. Oh yes, we set this up, didn't we? We set this service road up all along here. So we could go all the way around. So we could have uh, an extra stand, which was going to be a remote stand, wasn't it? Yes. So there was a bus and a, a service vehicle st uh, stop there. And the people can come out of the terminal and take the bus up to the remote stand. Yes, we can build more remote stands. We can build more medium stands up here. And pretty much, as long as we leave a little bit of a room for a service road to continue up, at some point along here, then we can build as many as we want and then just do like a service road going up and re repeat the process essentially. Depending on how many flights we have available, of course, that's not what I wanted and that's what I wanted. And we are currently scheduled 21 out of 125. It doesn't seem right, does it? Not when we have active flights full on all of those. That seems like it is wrong. Maybe, maybe it's 121. Oh no, it's just for that day. I see it's per day. So currently, yes, we are scheduled 38 of 125, which is fine, which is fine. So more stands will increase that capacity as long as the runway can handle it. We do only have the two runways at the moment. And what is the next thing it's trying to get us to do? We need to build a large aircraft uh, a runway and system now. So that's the next thing. How is the research going? I know we started it all off, didn't we? Uh, it is absolutely miles away is the answer to that. Absolutely miles away. We've done point two. Uh, multiple terminal operations. I might take away all of those and stick them on the large aircraft permit because that's going to take so long to do. And that's the maximum admins we can assign to that as well. Maybe we should hire some more admins. Money's pretty good. I think the beginning of the last video we were around two and a half million, so we're, we made about 500 grand all in. So that's not bad. Let's get some more administrators. Uh, I guess we'll have the orange one, we'll have that one, we'll have that one, we'll have the other orange orange one. That's, oh, we don't know who we hired there. Oh, we'll have you as well. Okay. We don't want... Oh, we'll have you. Why not? Okay, so we've got a few more. Obviously, it's going to be an increase to our staff and budget, but it means we can. We've got another six, seven, six, seven there, out of that, so we can get that going now. It also means we could, of course, start something going here. We're not really that bothered by multiple termi ter terminal operations. I might do the deicing. Now, then we're going to need a deicing fluid depot and pad, which I feel is going to be a space that we don't really have available to us. That's the large ATC tower. What about the Maverick fuel trucks? Faster refueling, faster truck. And a bigger fuel depot. Yeah, maybe we'll look at doing those. I think we will. I think we'll do that. I think we'll start that one. Because it shouldn't take too long either. So we'll take three people off there, add them onto the fuel trucks. That should fly. We're already at 7.6% for the large terminal, or the large aircraft, I should say. So we're largely just waiting for that to go ahead, aren't we? We could look at maybe starting our second tier up here, couldn't we? We have a good deal of money. We are going to have to spend some money to probably buy at least one of these. Because if the medium one is just over one square big, the large one I imagine is going to be about one and a half. So we're not going to have anywhere we can fit that in, are we? So we might have to buy... One, maybe even both of those, to be honest. Maybe even both of those could be quite cool. And of course, we can also also expand our remote terminals as well, can't we? He says, on the verge of sneezing. Oh, it's so close, honestly. The problem with that is to build more uh, remote stands, is what I meant to say, to build more, more remote stands. We're gonna have to destroy part of the road to do that, aren't we? Which is a little annoying. So what I might do as a short term exercise, I think, as we're, I will build at least one more stand. But what I'm gonna do is remove the one way requirement for that road. 
so that when we destroy this bit of road, vehicles can still get up and they can also go down there if they need. Obviously, we'd rather that they uh, went all the way along there, but if we're about to destroy a piece of this road, that's not necessarily an option, is it? So let's grab how big is the aircraft stand. It goes up to up to here, I think it was. I think it was there. Let's give that a go. So we could always grab the stand and just pop it above, couldn't we? That's perfect, yes. Uh, we have a staffing shortage of, what is that? Ramp agents. We need some more ramp agents. Oh, hold on, right, slow everything down. So we need some more ramp agents. It has just equalized out, but the fact it complained at all makes me think we should get at least a couple of ramp agents. So we should get this one and this one. It's so a couple of ramp agents, that's something. And then service vehicles. Belt loader trucks. We have none and we need four. How do we have none? All right. Wait, 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 wait. What is a belt loader truck? I'd assume it'd be that, but that's a baggage truck. What's a belt loader truck? Baggage, stair. The fastest way to load and unload baggage from an aircraft. So... Okay. Okay, well it said we could use... I mean, how many have you got? Oh, this isn't telling us how many we, we have. Right, I see. That's um, mildly confusing. So what do we have here? Three cleaning trucks, one shuttle bus, one ambulance. We'll probably need another shuttle bus. Lots of the small fuel trucks, two of the jet ones, three of the jet ones, three pushbacks. Ah, yes, because we had, we're probably going to need to get another pushback, another baggage, another stair truck, aren't we? So let's do that. Let's get four of these. Uh, can we do this? Does this work for all planes? I don't know. We'll get one with the roof. We can still only get the small pushback. So we'll get a small pushback, a stair truck, and we'll also get, I think, another catering... Oh. Vehicle checkpoint, vehicle depot, catering depot. Do we not do catering? I thought we did catering. So we researched it, but we never actually did it. That's interesting. And how much space do we have in our vehicle depot as well, actually? Six parking spaces available is not enough. How big is a vehicle depot? Where are the vehicle depots? Vehicle checkpoint. Uh... Uh, am I being weird? Where's the vehicle depot? There it is. There it is. So we couldn't fit it down there. I suppose we could get rid of maybe two of those. We could squeeze it in there. I'm hesitant to bring it up anywhere else. Maybe we could fit one in there? It could be quite nice having one there, actually. We could fit one in there as well. That's maybe a bit too far, but we could have like a fuel thing opposite. No, I think I'm going to put it up here. We're going to put it up here, and we're going to put it right opposite the road there. Yeah, okay, cool. So that should be enough space for all of our vehicles, because we are getting a bit of a... Uh, how many do we have on a page here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16 on a page... So that's 32. So yeah, we have a lot of vehicles now. So we need that extra space. That's fine. That works out. All of our new vehicles and our baggage handlers, our belt loading trucks, are arriving. 
What is this telling us? The belt loader trucks are required. Well, that's fine. Because they are on their way. Everything else is equalized, which is fine. Staff? What are we saying about staff now? Whatever there was, it has disappeared. Whatever there was has disappeared. Okay, well, that's also fine. This is looking a little dodgy, isn't it? Should we get this repaired? Are oh, they doing the 78? And that's not too bad. Any of them? Oh, they are. A few of these are looking quite rough, aren't they? Probably need to do most of these by the look of it. What are they? Understand? A convert to grass. No, we don't want to convert to grass. We're a proper airport. We don't want grass stands. We are past that. And that's a fairly expensive little run of things to repair. That's doing okay. That's doing just about okay. Do we not have any construction workers? Did we fire them all? We did. So let's bring on, like, let's just say 20. I think that should do. Yeah, this is why I wanted to avoid having this situation over here, because although it does work in the end, it is a little bit of a mess and they do get a bit stuck, so I would rather they went all the way around and down. Which he isn't doing. Bizarrely, he's decided that rather than just taking that road at that point, he's going to go all the way along. Bizarre, bizarre. Any minute now, construction workers. Oh, we didn't even get. We didn't even finish that fence. <laughs> didn't even finish that fence, which we're going to need to complete along here. I don't. I assume the animals can go across the stands. So that road is pretty much gone. So let's put down a another aircraft stand, like so. Obviously, we're now going to have to delete part of this fence. How many do we normally do? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we shall expand the... Not runway ram. Taxiway foundation, that's what I'm after. We should do this all the way along here. Should we do a bit more while we're here? Should we just do like all the way along here? Is that a bit much? How many was it? Ten. So if I do like another 20, that's enough for another two stands. Just thinking in terms of doing the fences and stuff. And then... Uh, the fence we should continue on along here. Bring it down here. Excellent. So we are going to need a new boarding desk, aren't we? I'm going to have to try and remember how this works as well. Where do we put the other boarding desk for the other stand? That one there. Okay, so we put this one, we could put it either like here or here. A medium boarding desk, it won't fit there, so we'll put it over here. If we got rid of that drinks machine, it would fit, but that's okay. We'll put it there. Just wait for that to get built. All the fences and stuff. No, they're, they're working on it. Maybe we need a few more construction people. They don't think I realize quite how much we were doing. So we have another vehicle depot there, which is completely empty at the moment. Yeah, but that is completely full, so we are going to need that very, very soon. How is our research going? Ah, the Maverick fuel trucks are complete. So let's get, what was the other, medium fuel depots. Yeah, let's get that one going. I was just thinking, I, I, I remember saying I could use this space up here for any small vehicles and I completely I was trying to figure out how I'd get that service road over here but that isn't the option it would go up this way wouldn't it of course 
We did say if we bought this area, we could just turn this into a huge car parking lot, didn't we? Because I'm assuming that money is still coming in from the car parks quite significantly. Yeah, 2,700 from the car parks. Lovely stuff. Oh, we put down lights, didn't we? I completely forgot we put down lights. They look so cool. So cool. Uh, so they're still working on this taxiway foundation. We need them to complete that. Uh, I might just bring in the rest of the... Because it's taking too long, isn't it? It's taking too long. Because I don't think we can even do the taxiway path while that's still being... Maybe we can. Oh, we totally can. Okay. Obviously, it won't be connected until that's finished, but that's fine. That's fine. I wonder the sort of recommended number of stands to runways is. We have a lot down here, don't we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 12 down there, so we could probably get a lot more in. Now that that road's been completed, I will put the one-way system back in over here. Just to make sure we don't have that traffic backlog over there again. Anyone using this one yet? Yeah, yeah, they are. Awesome. Awesome. Is that stand completed? Oh, it is. It is. Okay. So let's connect to the stand to this. Can we have multiple stands using the same bays over there? The same remote bays, I wonder. Connect baggage bay will be this one. And how do we connect it to the remote? Ah, there. Oop, where did that go? Ah, we can use the same one. Excellent. So then how... Now that that's been connected, we can connect the service car stop. Right. So I think that's everything we need, isn't it? We can connect an arrival-only airside shuttle bus stop. Designate an airside shuttle bus stop to be used for deboarding arriving passengers. Oh, so you could put like a stop up here where the passengers can go. That's interesting. How, I wonder if we could fit one in there. How big are they? How big are they and where are they? Hmm. We could just fit one in there actually, yeah. Let's build that and then we'll designate that as an airside. Hang on, saying that. Saying that. Oh, yeah, then they could just walk across the road there. So they should be able to get to that fine from either of those stands. Perfect. So as soon as that's built, we shall designate that as the... Airside Shuttle... Arrival-only Airside Shuttle Bus Stop. Hmm. Exciting. Exciting. And we can turn that on now? Yes, we can. Uh, it's handling the flight, so we can't do that at the moment. And that one we can't do because... I think we could do it. There we go. Awesome. I'd like to be able to do this one. We need that flight to disappear first. Well, we got to you see the, uh, the belt loader was... Uh, in use there. So they do get stuck behind slower traffic going down there, but you know, I'm sure we can live with that. Go away, flight. Go away. What are you? Push back. 
Oh, we something something is finished. Something is finished. What do we have that's new? I saw the green little thing. Is it the stands? No, so we haven't got the large runway. So what does it think is new? Or oh, the fuel depots. Is it the medium fuel depots? I'm assuming that's what it is. I'm going to speed things up a bit and see if this one's going to disappear anytime soon. Uh, what we don't have here, though, is a loop. So they come in here, they come up here, and they then have to... You know, we need to change this. Oh, I see. Right. Um, because right now, we could get flights getting in the way of each other and all sorts, couldn't we? Someone could be coming up here as someone's trying to leave here. So we need to remove this bit of fence. And then we need to loop this back on itself. It's a shame you can't set these as one way only, but at least they should be able to figure out how to work around it. Hopefully. Hopefully. Particularly if we, mean, if we might only need to... I don't know. I think we'll, we'll extend it over there and we'll see how it goes. We're going to wait for that to disappear. And then we need taxiway foundation. I'm just going to extend it across there. And then let's use the taxiway path, join that over there. So flights coming in will at least now go straight along here. There's still a bit of potential for them to get a bit confused and, and, and mess up each other around this area, but when we have more stands, maybe we'll consider extending that taxiway foundation across a little bit. But I think for now that's good. Uh, some very angry people over here. Why are they so angry? Because they don't want to walk across to here. Okay, in that case... Uh, let's just demolish that. We're just going to demolish that, and those people have to sort themselves out. And we're just going to let the buses go straight into the um, into the stands, because that's obviously going to work a lot better. What we'd need is like an extra space here, or the other in between the the uh, runway and the service road, where we could put a pedestrian path in, I think, and then put crossings on so the pedestrians can get across to the path and over to the bus stop. But it's not going to work, I don't think. It's obviously just annoying the passengers, and it's not helping this at all, because this is now waiting for its... Uh, Yes, waiting to board these passengers who can't get over here. Even though walkable area is all of this. Look, so they should be able to just walk along there. But they won't. So let's just, we'll just triple speed things and that'll just sort itself out. That's what's going to happen there. Uh, research, that's almost done. So yeah, the medium fuel depots is done as well. Um, what do we want now? What do we want now? High speed conveyor belts? Backer security tier 2? Yes, we'll delay that one. Fjord trailer trucks. Greater fuel capacity. Yeah, okay, why not? Why not? I'll put four people on that, and in fact, I'm going to take them off that and get it back up to the maximum five. Why not? It looks like they don't want to destroy that whilst it's in use, which is fine. Oh, no, there they are. They are destroying it as we speak. Look. Hopefully, that will force the passengers to just make their own way across to the aircraft. Or they'll just disappear. Or they'll just disappear. Either way, problem solved. 
So, we'll delay it again and we'll see, yes, and now they've just, I think they just spawned over here or something, or spawned back in the terminal perhaps, and the bus managed to get over there and get back again. Wonderful! Right, progress is being made. So, what are these? These are both fuel? So that's jet fuel, that is uh, Avgas fuel. Okie dokie. So, do we have... How big, I suppose, is the real question. Oh my word, they are big. That is... Oh, it's just a shame. It almost fits in there. We could fit one in there, though. And if we fit... Oh, I was going to say we could get rid of those, but then that's not actually going to free up much space, is it? What an annoying size. What an annoying size that is. What are we going to do? So we could actually fit one in there and use that space up, but then we couldn't fit anything behind it. So that would be the problem with that. Um, or we delete a bit of that runway, found, uh, taxiway foundation. It does look like it's too big, doesn't it? I mean, it's not, I don't think. It just looks a little bit awkward. So if we maybe, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll delete a little bit of this. Is that the same flight? No small aircraft stand. Why are there problems with the small aircraft stands? How do I get to the um, flight monitor? There we go. Uh, there are no issues whatsoever. Excellent. Well, okay, I'm glad we sorted that out. Perfect. So, if we come down here again and go to the fuel depots, so yes. Just thinking, we probably want the medium jet one here. I think that makes sense just because that's where our focus is. Although I could also just delete more of those. Maybe I will. Maybe we'll just delete more of those. How many is it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll just put them both next to each other, like here again, which means the service vehicles coming in don't have to go all that far either. And of course, we could actually have got rid of like one tier of this road as well, so we probably don't need three lanes going up there. So hold on. Where are you going to go? If I just delete... Like that, what's that going to look like? And ah, now it's saying there are problems over here. Can't arrive as stand is still occupied or about to be occupied. And that's a medium aircraft stand. Is this one still... Baggage loading and boarding in progress. Is boarding in progress or is it just confused? So the, the shuttle's there, the bus is there. It says people are on board, so no, we're fine. I think it just might take a little bit while to sort itself out. We might need to get another shuttle bus. Because I think we only have one at the moment, don't we? Yeah, an airside shuttle bus. Let's get another shuttle bus. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So that should help alleviate that slightly. Oh, that one did just do the nice thing of dropping passengers off there and immediately picking some up then from there, which was quite nice. I like to see that. So we've deleted this bit of space down here. It's going to cause a bit of confusion, I think, with this bit of road. In fact, I might add just one tile back in, I think. Just there. We have the large aircraft permit, so that's something we can look at in a moment. It's going to give us all sorts of extra things. So we have large asphalt runway, large asphalt aircraft stands, 
large hangers. Do we have a medium hanger? We've got the small one there. There's just a lot of space there that's ended up being wasted, which is such a shame. I, I, I thought I thought it'd work out a lot differently. Essentially, I thought it'd work out a lot differently, but what we could really do with... is, like, demolishing... Well, then all that's there. The towers are there, aren't they? Yeah, it's a pain. We could do a little... Uh, a little. We can do tunnels, can't we, now? Somewhere. Where did we do tunnel? A road tunnel. Yeah, a service tunnel. So that... I'm going to... I'm just going to say... Oh, not too late for it. Uh, yes, we could build a little service tunnel in somewhere, somehow. And then start using this space in here for something. I don't know what exactly, and I think it would be quite awkward. If we could maybe get the tunnel going. How do the tunnels work? I suppose that's a question. Maybe we'll look at that in a moment. Anyway, so we've got that bit, but yeah, that looks a bit neater, doesn't it? Right. So before animals start messing everything up, we have got six rampagents short. That is more of a concern right now. Applicants, rampagents, higher, 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 higher. That'll do. I think that's only five, but it's a start. And what's been added to the terminal? Hold on. What's been added to the terminal? You know, I'm really not sure what got added there. I'm not sure at all. Anyway, uh, fuel. Where is my fuel? There it is. Oh, can we fit two in there? No, we can't now. <laughs> so we're going to have to get rid of that a little bit, aren't we? Oh, we just add an extra bit of road in there. Trying to make it all neat and tidy, but it's just not working out as I was hoping. Or we just move this like down here and extend the service road down. Do we need it to be? Not really. So why don't we do that? And then we'll just extend the service road. Like here. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. And then I wonder how we... Do we need a new contract? Do we have better contracts available? Staff happiness is terrible, by the way. Just realised that. Uh, accepted contracts. I'm confused. Where's the fuel? Oh, there it is. Nature fuel. And is it just nature fuel we have? Yeah, so it's 150 and 41, and they'll deliver 20,000. And they're only a two star. So if we look at aviation fuel. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. 150, 41, 20,000. 109, 20, 80,000. In fact, that's 800,000. 102, 16. 155, 30. So we want that one, right? Oh, we have to cancel the other one first. Okay. I'll do that. Uh, negotiate? You'd need to go down to like, like there. I don't know what this is. Negotiation points. Do we use them all up? I mean, just let's just cancel it, and then we'll just get this one because it's better. Bosh, done. Okay, happy. Everyone moves on with their lives. Um, do we have a catering food supplier? No, we don't. We don't have any contracts either. And we don't have any de-icing, but that's fine, because we don't need de-icing. Okay. 
So we've accepted a new full fuel supplier. Oh my god, is that... Did we not already repair that? No, we didn't repair the runways, did we? Or if we did, they got damaged very quickly, and that's a concern for us. Right, I'm just sort of looking around thinking. So, operations R and D. So we have the we have the fjord trailer trucks as well. So let's get uh Not fuel tanks? I don't think we need fuel tanks. I don't think we're big enough for that. We could just go straight for that and skip the fjord alternative. Why not, right? Why not? And this one, this big one here is now done. What are we going to do with this? Uh, so that was the ATC tower, but it takes 10 people. Uh, what structural engineer and concrete stuff? Let's do that. That could be very interesting. Okay. Well, our staff happiness is in... How do you increase staff happiness? I think I've got... I don't have a CFO yet. Uh, I'm going to get a CFO. I don't think we really need one necessarily, but... As we don't have one, I feel like we really should. Not administrators, uh, executives. CFO. There are two available. One is absolutely terrible. One's pretty good. So we'll go with a pretty good one. I was going to say no. We're just going to cancel that flight. So they are now... Oh, we don't have a HR director either, actually. HR director. We again have two. One is terrible. One is not not terrible but not great so okay we now have a full stack of executive committee which is great I'm happy with that I don't want to touch the shift stuff in the slightest what are we playing about down here janitors well, I don't think we need that many because they are doing the pre preemptive cleaning but maybe we'll just get a couple more janitors And then we need to start looking at the large runways and stuff. But we may be running a bit short on time for this particular. Yeah, it's huge. I said it'd be about one and a half tiles, didn't I? I, I, I can't even... It's bigger than that, I think. But it's very hard to tell, isn't it? So I don't know exactly how we're going to handle that. kind of need another terminal, but I kind of like the idea of just having a bigger terminal. If we bought this tile here, we could ex we could get rid of these car parks and extend the terminal along here a little bit so we get some more, uh, more gates, more boarding gates. That could be quite useful. So we still have all this space here for more um, uh, check-in desks. Got the word for a second. Which we seem to have enough of. No one's complaining that we're short. Although, one janitor... Was that six ramp agents? Ramp agents are just through the roof at the moment. Oh, I'll just get a couple of terrible ones. Fine. I'm even going to get you. The worst one available. Congratulations. You got a job at an amazing airport even though you suck. Is that one being used? It is. It's gone down to 87%, so it must be being used. So yeah, what would we do with the large one? So I think if we buy this tile, get rid of these car parks, extend this over here, extend this over here with just more car parks, like as many as we can afford. Three million pounds worth of car parks, that's the plan. Obviously we have the service roads here and here that we can extend out this way. But buying this tile wouldn't be enough for us to fit in the large runway unless we put it in like here, which would be terrible. I don't think we'd want to do that. So we'd have to buy both of those tiles to make that work, which isn't too bad because they cost 750,000. So that's 1.5 million, which would be about half of our money. But that's not the worst thing in the world when we have so much money. Or is that, that, do you know, I didn't even realize we've really set up a security patrol, but... I don't think we have, actually. I don't think we have. No, because that's the old... Yeah, that's the old security patrol, isn't it? We should probably get rid of that. 
because that's not doing very much at all, is it? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just sort of thinking. I'm just sort of thinking. So it said we have catering available. Catering. Oh, so we haven't actually set that up. The catering depot is monumentally huge. Oh my word, that's the sort of thing that we would need to stick a, a tunnel in to do. So maybe we'll do that. I know it did just save. I'm going to I'm going to save over the top anyway, over the super amazing new airport, just because we're going to be playing around with stuff we don't understand yet. So maybe we'll just have a very quick go. So I want a tunnel going down. I don't understand why it has... Why does it need a service road at the back? But if we build it there, we can always just bring the service road across for whatever reason it needs it, right? But then that's arrows going this way. The arrow's coming towards me. Do we want that? How do these work? Cannot build on this floor. Okay, well, we definitely want this one then. Let's just pop it in. Yeah, it looks like... Then how do we... How does it work? How does it work? Cannot build on this floor. So if I build another one... Here. Or here. Let's try there. What I want to do is join that to that. So I want stuff going down there and coming out there. Let's see how this works. We also have the bigger... Hold up a second. Oh, no, we're, 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 we are... I was going to say we have the bigger fuel trucks, but we're going to research the next ones immediately, aren't we? The Maverick ones, yes. Yeah. So we'll wait for those till we replace the fuel trucks. We do have these now, which means we probably don't need these. Why would we need to have... When they're so close as well. So let's close these. And let's demolish them. Which gives us a little bit of extra space, just in case... Well, that one went straight away. No messing around. Just in case we find something which does fit into this little space. I'm not sure we will, but it's there as an option, isn't it? Right, hold up. So these have both been built. So how does this work? I genuinely have no idea. It's going to do that and just see what happens over here. There's no, like, search for the tutorial stuff, is there? We've done that, but anyway. Well, there is a search option there, but I think that search is... Yeah, that search is that stuff. Which doesn't necessarily help us. Oh, this is miles behind. A uh, large aircraft, build a large stand, connect a large stand. Make sure it's inside an international zone, which is entirely new. Build a one passport checkpoint. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we don't really understand going on. I do love these, though. I do love these. And they only have a max capacity of 200,000. So those trucks which are bringing in 800,000 a time could fill those four times over. I would hope K 
can you set which vehicles are in each one? Because obviously we would want to have the fuel trucks down here so that they have to go past the fuel depots to get anywhere. It'd be kind of pointless having them up in this one, wouldn't it? Uh, okay, so it's built this road. This is still saying it isn't connected, though, because obviously that's something different. But I don't understand how that works at all. It doesn't give us any clues here, does it? Not at all. Not at all. Wait a second. Oh no, it was a road tunnel down we built, wasn't it? Yeah. It just looks like that's going up rather than down, but that might just be the way the shading is. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. But I think that seems like a reasonable place to stop. So I'll probably not save the game again. So we won't save these little changes we, we made over here. Just fiddling around with that. We'll just see how that goes. Although that being said, we could start something else here. We do we have concrete now. Now I'm going to leave that there so that I remember next time that we have the ability to have a concrete runway with even more durability which could be very exciting. Can you just, can we build concrete? We can build concrete. Can you build them over the top? You can. Interesting. I wonder if at the same time you get the dem demolish cost back as well. Or just does it. it. Just does it. Just upgrades it straight away. So you probably don't get the demolish cost back, do you? I didn't really see it pay enough attention down here to see if it would uh, do that. But that's interesting. So we have concrete available to us for all of the things. Does that mean you get concrete aircraft stands as well? <gasps> we do. Oh my word. Exciting. Can we just build those over the top of the existing ones? Probably not while they are in use. No. And something you may have seen there, something that came from a very recent patch, is you can change the direction of the runway. Obviously only when it's closed and not in use. But you can change the direction of the runway now without having to demolish it and start again. So that's quite exciting. All right, so we've spent, spent exactly zero time really looking at the terminal. Well, we did put down a gate, I suppose, didn't we? But that's about it. Um, so yes, next time, next time, I'm going I'm to try and learn how tunnels work. See if we can get traffic coming into these spaces. Because that's just an easy place for us to expand things like the... Uh, Extra vehicle depots, the, the catering service, the de-icing service, that can all fit in there. We could get another tunnel over here as well. So we could have like a tunnel coming up there and a tunnel coming up there. Just get rid of this middle bit here. We would have space to put in additional hangars there. We should probably think about putting in a medium hangar, which I'm assuming is the same size. Hangars, hangars, hangars. Yes, the same size as the uh, the, the stands pretty much. Or exactly, in fact. So we could put one of those up there, um, <clears throat> just in case we have some sort of emergency situation with the medium aircraft, which is going to happen at some point. And yes, next time we will look... Oh, maybe we, I want to say we'll do the large runway. It's definitely something we need to do, but doing this and the catering and maybe looking into the de-icing may sort of take precedent. Who knows? We have to be careful with our money as well, because we are... Yeah, that's going to cost about one and a half million to buy these two. That's before we even start getting the large runway down. And I'm assuming they are not cheap. One million for a large concrete runway. How much for the stands? 400,000. So to even get three, the same as we have for our starting medium setup, we would need 1.8 million. Which we actually couldn't afford on top of buying those two tiles. So maybe what we'll do is we'll get the catering down, see if we can get the de-ice in. And not that we need it for the moment. Does it say the, day, like the time of year? It doesn't say whether it's... Um, well, it does, so I guess that's that's autumn. So the de-ice in soon could be helpful for us. Maybe we'll get that. And then maybe we'll just look at expanding our medium uh, stands up here a little bit. So we'll build more stands, we'll get a, a hanger if we remember to get a hanger. Or we could just put the hanger like up here, couldn't we? There's no reason we couldn't have like an extra row of medium stands at, the, at this side of it, is there? Just extend the service road up there. 
Yeah, that would work. Maybe put a tunnel in there, tunnel coming out there, if we can get those working, of course. But yeah, if we can get a more medium, because we're just say we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got twelve stands for this runway. So it makes me think we could have twelve stands for this runway and not run into any sort of traffic problems. And so far we've got five. So a few more medium stands up here, some more um shuttle bus terminals along here, probably. We don't really have anywhere else for them to go where they'd be accessible to the uh, pedestrians. We can maybe fit one in down here, potentially. Because that path, or that path is needed for that, actually, isn't it? So maybe not. Maybe we won't try anything too, too fancy. We'll just put them in over there. Job done. And even if we needed to get rid of one of these as a, as a commercial passenger stand and just have it as a... whatever they, they're classed as... Um, so we could just free up a little bit more space if we needed to. But who knows? We'll see how see how that goes. Anyway, so we're going to leave that there. Like I say, we're not going to save it. So it'll go back to the state it was just before I saved it just now. So our money will probably go down a little bit at the beginning of the next video. But not too much because I've had it on standard speed. So I'm sure we'll survive. So I hope you've enjoyed this latest look at Airport CEO. Do you know what? I, I really am loving this game so much. I really am. I like the way it just expands at a nice, reasonable rate. It took me a few turns, as you're aware, to actually sort of get it in my head what we needed to do. So I had to have a, a couple of restarts, really, I think, all, all told. But yeah, I really am enjoying this game so much. Hope you're enjoying it. If you are, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Don't forget to stream Wednesdays at 7pm UK time, and it'd just be wonderful to see you there to say hello. Otherwise... Well, I'll see you next time on Airport CEO, of course. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.